Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. Starting off with a trick on the home screen of the iPhone. Of course, you will have to swipe to go between pages back and forth by swiping like this. But there is another way to go to the next or to the previous page. Right here, just above the dock, there are two buttons, which of course are invisible, but they work. So just tap above the dock right there and you can go ahead and go to the next or to the previous page on the home screen. On the phone app on your iPhone, once you go to the phone, go to the phone dialer right here, you can simply tap that green button right there and it will show you the last number that you have called, you have dialed from here and you can easily go ahead and make a call directly from here without having to retype the number. On the phone dialer you can also show the IMEI number of your iPhone very easily. All you gotta do is just type this and it will show your number right here. On the email app, you will have this button right here to start typing a new email. But if you tap and hold on it, it will show you your drafts right here. So currently I don't have any drafts, but if you just tap and hold there, you can see no drafts right there. If you have any, it will list them right here. And of course, you can also start a new message right there. When the alarm goes off on your device, you can use one of the volume buttons to snooze. So you don't have to press the screen, just go ahead, press any of the volume buttons. When you're within an app, like I'm here on the notes app, I want to go to the settings of the notes. So on the settings app, on the notes section, all I gotta do here is just open Siri, open preferences. And as you can see right there, it will automatically send me to the notes settings on the settings app. When on iMessage, you can easily send someone your location. Just type I'm at and then it will ask you here for the current location. Just tap right there. Of course, you will need to have location services enabled. Just tap right there and it will automatically send them your location. On the Safari app, you can search for a particular word on a web page. So here I'm on 9to5Mac and just tap the share button. This will look different for you if you're on iOS 12, but just go ahead and find find on page right there. And you can search for any word right here. So let's search for iPhone. And as you can see, if I tap search, you can see the words right here, iPhone two out of four. So it finds the word right there very easily. When typing a web address on Safari, you can tap and hold the dot button and you can see right there, it will give you all these options from .com, .net, .org, .us, all that. And you can just go ahead and easily enter one of them directly from here. When you're typing something on your keyboard and you want to quickly add a number, you don't have to go to the numbers pad and enter a number and then go back to the letters. All you gotta do is just tap and hold here slide to the number that you want to add, release it, and it will go automatically to the letters again. When taking a panorama picture on your iPhone, you can easily switch the direction of the panorama picture. Just tap right there on the picture and it will switch sides. If you go to the settings app, go to general, go to keyboards and add a new keyboard right here, you can find a pretty cool keyboard. If you go to Japanese and select Romoji right there, click done, and you will find that this keyboard is really awesome. So let's go ahead here, start and type a new note. So if I go to that Japanese keyboard, you can see right here, go to the numbers and just tap the, that little symbol right there. You can see it will add all these cool like symbols right here on the keyboard. And you can of course type any one of them directly from here. You can see as easy as that. You can use them of course on your social media or anywhere you want. It's pretty awesome having this as native on iOS. Now the spotlight search of iOS is very underrated. You can see right here, if I just tap there, weather in London, it will show me the weather forecast and that nice little widget right there. I can force touch on it. And as you can see right here, it will show me the weather forecast for the complete day. And if you're a sports fan, you want to use the spotlight search, just search for any sport you want and search for scores. As you can see right here, it will give you all the latest scores from that sport. It's really, really awesome. You can see right here, everything you need in one place. Just use the spotlight search. And if you want to listen to music when you go to sleep or something and you want it to stop playing at the particular time, you can go to the clock app, go to the timer and from here, just go ahead, set your timer and tap here when time ends and scroll down here 
tap stop playing. So once the timer stops, it will stop playing the media. So that is it for this video guys, these are 15 iPhone tricks that probably a lot of you guys didn't know existed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.